Yo, what's good, basketball heads? It's your boy, Crush. Let's talk about Adam Silver's addressing the load management in the NBA and coming up with a solution that could possibly benefit the players, teams, and the fans, basically. In the past few years, load management has ran rampant in the NBA. Multiple stars and superstars is load managing, players missing games, important games, sitting out, and that's unfair to the fans. I mean, fans go to the game to see their favorite players, and when you get there, after spending a lot of money on tickets, the NBA is looking into addressing load management in the new collective bargaining agreement by requiring a minimum number of games played for award consideration and shifting the culture to value total stats over a season instead of statistical averages. So Adam Silver and the NBA is trying to, you know, shift the culture and find a way to address this load management situation because it's not good for the fans and it's not good for the game. More so the fans who spend all this money to go see their favorite team and players mainly the superstars, and when they get there, they're not playing. And this has been a long, dragged-out issue that's been going on for multiple years. We all know load management is not new. This has been going on since the Tim Duncan era. Greg Popovich used to load manage all the time, so this is not something new. It's just been running rampant in the past few years. Yeah, so it's long overdue that they've figured out something that could address this issue and incentivize players to play. If that means giving them bonuses or whatever, you know, but they got to figure out something to incentivize all the superstars to try not to miss games and get on the court. It's a great thing that they're putting in certain stipulations in the collective bargaining agreement. So this way players can't just load manage and sit out. You know, they're making sure that you got to play a certain amount of games. That should be a requirement for all players. Maybe say, you know what, you could miss possibly 10 games per year. You got to have a minimum requirement of games you got to play, like period, for all players. I think this will solve the issue. Unless you're truly hurt, that is obviously. If you're injured, then obviously that's another story. But if you're not hurt, you have to play at least, I'll say, 72 games out of 82. Load management became a league-wide occurrence. Like everybody's doing it. Every team is doing it. Every player is doing it. And it's cheating the fans, man, beyond anything else. Who suffers the most? The fans. I mean, people spending their hard-earned money to see the games. Kawhi is on the bench. Paul George is on the bench. LeBron is load managing. It's ridiculous. I get it they use load management as a precaution to try to keep the stars healthy. I get it. So implementing a minimum game requirement for awards is a half measure. The easiest solution would be to reduce the number of games in the season to give the players more rest. Implementing a minimum game requirement for awards is, eh, that's okay, but I think the best measure would be to shorten the season. Instead of players playing 82 games, shorten that to maybe 72 games. Remove 10 games from the season, basically. I think that would make a big difference. Plus, when you factor in through those 72 games, players are going to still miss a few games, but I'm sure most players could play 65 games throughout the entire year so if there was to shorten the games to 72 the best solution moving forward would be just to shorten the season obviously a shorter season means less money as far as the NBA is concerned and obviously they're a business they're about making money I get it I think the best solution is to shorten the season to 72 games and if you're available but you don't play you don't get paid that's how I see it you should only get paid for the games you play So if you decide you want to load manage for a few games, you don't get paid for those games. I think that's the best solution. You know, trying to incentivize players with bonuses and all that, like, "Mm, that's okay. But is that going to stop players from load managing? No. To me, the most effective way to stop players from load managing is to pay players per game. Okay. You get paid when you play. The only exception is if you're actually injured. If you are injured and an MRI shows that you're injured, you're actually hurt, then you still get your check. But if you're load managing just because you're just trying to get some rest, you don't get paid. That's the best solution that the NBA could do to fix all this load management crap.
I mean, put in little stipulations in the collective bargaining agreement. I don't really think that's going to do much, honestly. I mean, maybe we'll see what happened with that, but I just think the better solution is if the commissioner and the NBA don't want to shorten the games, then simple. Players get paid on a per-game basis. If you play, you get paid. If you're injured and you can't play, you get paid. Once it's confirmed. If you are not injured and you're healthy, but you just want to load, manage, and rest, you don't get paid. I feel that's how it's supposed to be because you are cheating the fans. There are people who are spending a lot of money to go see their favorite player. And when they get to the game, he's not available. And that's not right, man. That's not fair. The best solution to fix all this issue is if you don't play, you don't get paid. I guarantee you most players is going to be playing. Nobody want to lose money. Trust me on that. Who want to lose money? It doesn't matter how much you make. No one want to lose money. So if they do that, all these players load managing, they're going to play. And that's just what it comes down to. At least they're trying to address the issue. It starts somewhere and at least, at least the commissioner is trying to address the issue. And I respect it. But I think the best solution is you play, you get paid. You don't play. You don't get paid. I think that's the best solution, but we'll see how this, we'll see how these new stipulations in the collective bargaining agreement works, how this affects the entire issue. We'll see what happened with that, man, but it's long overdue, man. It's, this is long overdue. I'm glad the NBA, the commissioner, Adam Silver, is finally trying to do something to address this issue because this is a pandemic. Load managing is a pandemic. It's not something that's new because, like I said, Greg Popovich been doing this in the Tim Duncan era, but it wasn't so prevalent. There wasn't a lot of people doing this. Now, it's a normal thing. It's a default now. Everybody wants to load manage. We will find out in the future how the new bargaining agreement and all the stipulations, we'll find out how that affects teams and players and load managing. We'll see what happens. But as always, man, I'll holla. As always, we just talking basketball. Hit the subscribe button, like, comment, share, holla at your boy. It's all about the game and how you play it. It's all about the game, I'ma say it. It's all about the game.